officers, sailors, Marines, Coast Guardsmen. Here's the Benny Show with Dennis Day, Rochester, Phil Harris and his orchestra, Mary Livingston, and Jack Benny. And now, ladies and gentlemen, continuing our sightseeing tour through the courtesy of the Chamber of Commerce, I would like to call your attention to that beautiful house on the right. It is the home of that very fine actor, Lionel Barrymore. Lionel Barrymore? Yes, ma'am. And on the left is the residence of that famous movie star, Gary Cooper. Oh, boy, Gary Cooper. I could sure go for him. Remember, Poopsie, we're on our honeymoon. <laughs> and now, turning the corner, we come to another beautiful street. <laughs> Say, Rudy, isn't this an interesting tour? Yeah, Poopsie, it's nice of the Chamber of Commerce to furnish these free trips. It sure is. Well, we want you to like our town. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, that one Spanish house with a red tile roof is the home of that glamorous actress, Hedy Lamar. Ah! Did you notice, Poopsie? I didn't say ah. <laughs> I know you didn't, sweetheart. You're mine. All mine. Yeah. <laughs> I keep saying to myself, what has Hedy Lamar got that you haven't got? And all the time I know. <laughs> On your right, ladies and gentlemen, between those two rows of palm trees is the home of W.C. Fields. W.C. Fields? Yes. Notice the lovely swimming pool in the yard. Yeah, you can even see the green pebbles in it. Madam, those are olives. <laughs> If you will look to the right, you will see Claudette Colbert's house. Next to it is Spencer Tracy's residence. And here on the left is the home of Jack Bennett. Uh, this is where I get off, driver. <laughs> uh, stop the bus. Did you stow away again? What? Take off that beard. I know you. Don't be sarcastic, driver. This isn't the only bus that goes to Beverly Hill. It's the only free one. <laughs> Never mind. Stop the bus. Now, watch those steps. I don't want you to get hurt and sue the company again. <laughs> oh, quiet. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we leave Beverly Hills and drive out to Santa Monica. Yes, folks, beautiful Santa Monica, where you will see more homes... Da-da-da-dum, da-da-da-dum, Queen Georgia Brown. Da-da-da-dum, the only thing I hate is the smart Alex bus driver. Da-da-da-dum, da-da-da-dum, she was I surprised when we passed part at Colbert's house. She's still using the same old curtain. Da-da-da-dum, I wonder what Paramount's paying her now. Oh, well. Hello, Rochester. Hello, boys. You're late. Yeah. That bus must have gone to Santa Monica first today. <laughs> no, no, no. We came right to Beverly Hills. Any mail, Rochester? No, but Miss Luella Parsons called. Luella Parsons? Yeah, she wants to get an interview about your career in radio. Well. And pictures. Pictures, too? I talked her into that. <laughs> Good, good. You know, Miss Parsons only interviews important people. See, I'll have to think of something interesting, some interesting things to tell her. Tell her about your tours through North Africa, Egypt, and Beverly Hills. <laughs> well, don't worry. I'll think of something. You better think fast, boss. You'll be here this evening. What? That's what she said. That's what the lady said. She said that. <laughs> Luella Parsons is coming here tonight, but I invited my gang for dinner. That's good, boss. Good? What do you mean, good? Be a big shot. Call her up and tell her you're giving the dinner in her honor. Say, gee, you know, Rochester, you really think fast. I wouldn't last long around here if I did. <laughs> well... Look, you go in the kitchen and get things started, and I'll get Miss Parsons on the phone. Number, please. Operator, get me Crestview 52717. Crestview uh, 52717? Yes, Crestview 52717. 2717. 
Let me see. What's the matter, Operator? I'm new here. What? I haven't had any experience. Well, for heaven's sake, don't pass up this opportunity. <laughs> Debbie, Debbie Crestview 5, 2717. I used to work in May's department store. I sold girdles. I don't care whether you sold girdles or not. Look, miss, this is Jack Benny. Jack I... Benny? Yes. My, my, what a small world. Here I am saying to you, what number, please? And only last week I said to you, what size, please? <laughs> Look. Look, you're a telephone operator now, so will you please... My girlfriend is selling those girdles now. Look, I'm not interested in girdles. They have a new model called Patty Secret. <laughs> that came out over five weeks. I, I don't know anything... I don't know anything about Patty Secret. Now, will you please get me my... Come in! Operator, try and get that number and call me back. Hello, Mary. Hello, Jack. The gang get here yet? Not yet, but guess what? Luella Parsons is coming over tonight to interview me. She is? Yeah. See, Mary, I want everything to be just right when Luella gets here. Rochester, don't forget to put flowers on the table. Yes, sir. And go down to the cellar and bring up some wine. The cheap wine or the imported stuff from Pomona? <laughs> the imported wine, of course. See, imagine Luella Parsons coming to interview me. In fact, I hope everything goes along all right. I hope you get the right impression. Oh, Jack. I hope I know what to tell her. Oh, oh Rochester! Uh -huh. Don't forget to put flowers on the table. I'm putting them! I'm putting them! <laughs> Gosh, uh, imagine an interview. Well, all right, so she's coming over to get an interview. What are you so nervous about? I'm not nervous. Well, stop running your fingers through your hair. Put it on and relax. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Jack, the curl goes in front. That's not a curl. That's a loop I hang it up with. <laughs> After all, there's nothing wrong with being neat. <laughs> that loop is supposed to be in bad. Well, tuck it in. You look like Fu Manchu. <laughs> no time for jokes. Now, let's see. When the gang gets here, I want them to be sure. Oh, oh, I just thought of something. Rochester! Uh-huh! Uh, put some flowers on the table. Boss, what are you going to do with Miss Parsons' feet in a bed? Go <laughs> <laughs> so smart and do what I tell you. Now, Mary, Mary, come on. Come on out in the kitchen and help me get things ready, will you? Oh, <laughs> Come on, come on, Mary. Let, 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 let's finish setting the table. The well of glad will be here any minute. Oh, oh Rochester! I'm putting them! I'm putting them! <laughs> I, I don't mean that. What, the, what are we having for dessert? We're having devil food cake. Good. Now, Jack, remember, when Luella comes in, compliment her. Tell her how nice she looks and that she's much thinner than you thought she was. Women like to hear that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Hey, boss, you know that devil's food cake? Yes. Even the devil would need it now. <laughs> I, I, I knew that would happen just when I'm nervous and everything. <laughs> that must be Luella now. All right, Jack, don't get so excited. I won't, I won't. And when he answers the door, be gracious. I will, I will. I'll even bow as she comes in. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Welcome to my humble abode. Hey, Jackson, what are you looking for? Did you drop something? <laughs> he's bowing, he's bowing. Oh. Oh, Phil, I thought it was somebody else. Hiya, Jackson. Hello, Mary. Hello, Phil. Are we in time to eat? Pretty soon, Don. Hello, everybody. Hello, Dan. Come on in, fellas. Oh, on boy, in. am I hungry. Yeah. 
Oh, say, fellas, have I got a surprise for you. You know, we're having Luella Parsons for dinner. You promised us roast beef. <laughs> We are having roast beef. <laughs> Miss, Miss Parsons. <laughs> well, all right, I didn't mean it that way. Miss, uh, Miss Parsons is a guest of honor. Oh. In fact, she, she's going she's to interview me. Now, listen, kid. Uh, Luella's coming here to get the story of my life, so don't do anything to embarrass me. Say, Jack, I just happened to think. Don't forget to talk uh, to Luella about her book. Her book? Yes, The Gay Illiterate. It's all about Hollywood. Oh, yes. Darn it. I wish I had time to read it. D did you read it, Don? I just started it. Oh, gosh. I wish... Say, Phil, did you read it? Not me. I don't want to clutter up my mind with a lot of outside stuff until after Flat Top gets a chair. <laughs> oh, fine. I should have known better than to ask you. You never read a book in your life. What are you talking about? I just finished Jimmy Starr's book, The Court Game Cod. <laughs> That's the corpse came C-O-D. All right, C-O-D. What does that spell, Harry? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Harry, Harry. You promised us roast beef. <laughs> Dennis, we're not talking about the dinner. Oh. Gee, Mary, I... Mary... Gosh, I, I don't know what to do about Luella's book, The Gay Herring. I mean, The Gay... I mean, The Gay Illiterate. Well, she probably won't mention it, but if she does, we'll change the subject. Okay, okay. Now, remember, fellas, whoop, that's her now. Now, don't forget, Jack. Tell her how wonderful and slim she looks. Yeah, I will, I will. Coming! Coming! Rochester had to leave that footstool in the middle of the hall. Well, get up and the loop goes in back. <laughs> all right, all right. Just a minute! Welcome to my humble... Oh, hello. Hello. Remember me? I'm Herman Peabody. Oh, yes. Yes, Herman. You're the one that belongs to the carpool with my gang, yeah, they always go places and leave me waiting outside. Well, look, Herman. See, I'm an insurance salesman, and I joined this carpool three weeks ago. I haven't been to the office since. <laughs> it's awful. Well, remember, your business comes first, Herman. Why don't you pool up with some other insurance salesman? Oh, I tried that, but I couldn't afford it. Why? They kept selling me insurance. <laughs> You wouldn't think it to look at me, but I'm worth eight million dollars dead. Gee. Every morning when I wake up, my wife gets so mad. Well, uh, well, look, Herman. Once I overslept for 15 minutes, and boy, did I jump up fast. Why? What woke you? They were throwing dirt in my face. Well, look, look, Herman. Hey, Jackson, don't keep her out there. Bring her in. It's not for well. It's Herman Peabody. Oh. Come on in, Herman. Yes, yes, Herman. Come on in. I'm expecting a guest for dinner, but it'll be all right for you to stay. Oh, thank you. You're sweet. <laughs> well, I, I try to be. Hey, Rochester. Yeah, boss. There'll be one more for dinner. Thanks for the warning. I'm eating now. <laughs> there. Now, fellas, after we have dinner, I think we ought to do something to entertain Luella. I'll tell you what. You guys insist that I play my violin. Wait a minute, Jackson. We ain't getting that kind of dough, Bob. Uh. Jack, if you want Luella to be entertained, why don't you let Dennis sing? Sure, I'll sing for Miss Parsons. All right, Dennis, you sing, and I'll accompany you on the violin. Come on, kid, let's rehearse it now. Okay. Thank you. 
keep out of it. Oh, for heaven's sake. I love you on the April breeze. I love you echo the hills. I love you for golden dark green as once more she sees daffodils. It's spring again and birds on the wind Well, Dennis, that's a beautiful number. Be sure and sing that for Miss Parsons after dinner. Yeah, then maybe she'll write about me in her newspaper column. That's right, she might. I can just see the headline now. Dennis Thrills Luella. Oh, sure, sure. If my girl sees that, she'll flap my face. <laughs> Dennis, you won't be in the headlines. She'll forget about it. Yeah, I wish Luella would get here. Me too. I'm hungry. Say, Jack, I just thought of something else. What? You better have your camel locked in the garage or Luella won't be able to stand it. You want to hear something, Mary? I don't even know where my camel is. It disappeared this morning, and I sent... Phil, where are you going? Out in the kitchen. If that roast beef's got humps on it, I'm leaving. <laughs> don't be silly. The camel's probably wandering around the neighborhood. I sent my Arab out to look for him. I'm so hungry I could eat the camel. Me too, Mr. Benny. I'm starved. I haven't eaten since breakfast. Breakfast? Well, that isn't so bad, Herman. That was before I joined the carpool three weeks ago. <laughs> anyway, we're going to eat pretty soon, and you'll have a nice... Whoop! That must be Luella now. I'll go to the door. Now, remember, fellas, act nice and no monkey business. Phil, straighten your tie. Dennis, Dennis, smile when she comes in. Jack, don't be so nervous. I'm not nervous. Whoop! I'm coming! I'm coming! Oh, Jack, don't forget to tell her that she's much thinner than you thought she was. I won't forget. Whoop! Coming! Coming! Well, Luella Parsons, what a surprise. Hello, Jack. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Well, come in, Luella. You know, I've been here sooner, but the bus went to Santa Monica first. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Uh, say, uh, say, Luella, uh, don't put this in your column. But when you passed Claude at Colbert's house, did you notice those curtains? Huh? Yes, I have the same kind in my house. Well, aren't they lovely? <laughs> Come on in, Luella. I want you to meet my gang. Right this way. They're in the other room. On that footstool? Well, don't stand there. Pick me up. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, I'm sorry, Luella. Hey, fellas, I got a surprise for you. Luella Parsons. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello. Luella. Hello. Nice to see you here. Yep, she's here to get an interview. How are you, Luella? I haven't seen you for a long time. I'm just fine, Mary. Just fine. Well, you're looking wonderful, isn't you, Jack? Huh? Isn't she looking wonderful, Jack? Yes, yes. You know, Luella, you're not nearly as fat as I thought you were. <laughs> Jack! I mean, I mean, you you really look very slender. That's because she's standing next to Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Dennis. 
Minus behave yourself. Oh, that's all right, Jack. I know I look pretty well now, and so do you. Yes, yes, we do. Thanks to Fatty's secret. <laughs> you know where the body's buried, Luella. <laughs> well, can we get on with the interview, or would you like to have dinner first? Oh, am I staying for dinner? Certainly. So you're the guest of honor. Oh, well, thank you, Jack. But first, I'd like to ask you one or two questions. Go ahead, Luella. Fire away. I was born in Walt Keegan, Illinois. And I went to grammar school until I was... Jack! About... Jack, wait till she asked the question. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm now, sorry. Now, Jack, tell me. Why are you going to... I mean, when are you going to make another picture? <laughs> Well, Luella, uh, right now, I'm making a picture called The Horn Glows at Midnight at Warner Brothers with Alexis Smith, produced by Mark Tellinger and directed by Raoul Wall. Gee, what a long title. <laughs> Dennis, be quiet. Now, Jack, how long have you been in radio? Radio? Well, uh, oh, about 13 years. And of those 13 years, how long would you say you've been a star? Well, I, uh, I don't know. I, I'd say... Seven years. Seven years, uh-huh. And how long has Rochester been with you? <laughs> Seven years. <laughs> That's right, he's a wonderful butler. You know? Yeah, yeah, he's pretty good on the radio, too. Yes, yeah, once in a while I let him take a line when I'm sort of that here. <laughs> <laughs> anything, uh, anything else you want to know, Luella? Yeah, when do we eat? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I almost forgot about dinner. I didn't. Well, come on in the dining room, Luella, and while we're eating, you can ask me some more questions. Come on, everybody. Don, you take Luella in. Come on, fellas. Now, you sit by me. Here's my arm, Luella. Thank you, Don. Oh, say, Luella, uh, I want to ask you something. What is it, Don? Uh, about that girdle called Fatty Secret. <laughs> Does it come in king size? <laughs> huh? Don, what do you think I'm wearing, the junior miss? <laughs> Well, here we are. Everybody sit down. Yes, sir. Gee, this one looks good. Uh, sit right here, Luella. Uh, let me fill up your plate. Some roast beef, some green peas, some mashed potatoes. Thank you. I just love mashed potatoes. Yeah. Uh, say, Jack, I wrote a book called The Gay Illiterate. Did you... Uh, here, Luella, have some more mashed potatoes. They're delicious. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jack. Did you read my book? Uh, here, Luella, have some more mashed potatoes. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> Now, as I was saying, I wrote a book called Hey, Luella, Has Some More Mashed Potatoes. That's right, Luella. Uh, don't be bashful. Have all you want. Say, Lolly, I meant to ask you. You just got back from New York, didn't you? Yes, Phil. And while I was there, I did a broadcast with Fred Allen. Luella, please, we're at the table. <laughs> permit that name to be mentioned in my dining room. Excuse the expression, Mr. Benny, but I like Fred Allen. Mm. Oh, Rochester! Yes, sir! No more meat for Mr. Peabody. <laughs> now, shall we drop the subject, or are there any more vegetarians here? That's better. Now, Jack, getting back to my book, it did... Here, not... Luella, have some more nice potatoes. <laughs> that was very thoughtful of you, Don, wasn't it, Luella? Luella, was it? Luella, where are you? Right over here behind these mashed potatoes. <laughs> well, dig, dig a hole in the middle so I can see. <laughs> there, there, that's butter. Better. <laughs> I'm so nervous when I have you. Know. Now, now, Luella, rather than just having you ask me a lot of questions, I'll give you a brief story of my life. All right, Jack, go ahead. Now, I was born in Waukegan, Illinois, in 18... in 1905. <laughs> After graduating from grammar school in Waukegan, I went to high school, where I first took an interest in music. Later, I went to Chicago, where I studied the violin under Hugo Kortjot at the Chicago Conservatory of Music. After four years of intensive study... Ah, shut up! <laughs> After four years of intensive study, I showed much promise, so much promise that my professor decided to send me to Carnegie Hall. (laughs) 
I haven't eaten in three weeks, you know. <laughs> this is all right. Well, anyway, Luella, I arrived in New York in June, a stranger in the city. Luella. Good night, everybody. of the Jack Benny program is the presentation of the Armed Forces Radio Service.